Today is the day, bro. Y'all gotta see this. So you know that, you know that we're building a pool at our new house here in Texas, right? Well, today, Saturday morning at like 7 a.m., eight guys show up. They're pouring something called gunite into the pool, which is supposedly like a concrete mixture. And in three hours, we're about to have a pool. Honestly, that shit is wild, bro. Make sure you watch to the end of the video to see the final product. Also, what up, Beast Nation? Max is back in the building. Do you think by the end of this video we can be doing backflips in the pool? Yes. So, Max was asking for some daily greens. I was. Of course, we got greens plus test, but I'm gonna do them one better. We got two secret samples here, two new flavors. Here, you take that one. That one is mixed berry. This one's peach mango. And we're gonna get Max's opinion on which flavor tastes best. And also drop a comment. Would you prefer for the next greens plus test flavor for it to be wild <laughs> mixed berry or, or peach? <laughs> wait, wait, if you do, if it's greens plus test, are you still natty if you take this? Look, it might give you non-natty testosterone levels, but technically you're still natty. No, it's all natural. It's ashwagandha and Tongada Ali. Two natty ingredients. Ashwagandha? Is that like, is that like what? <laughs> <laughs> ching ching. Ching ching. God damn, that's good. I'll try that one. All right, I'll try that one. Ooh. I think I like the mango better than the berry, but the berry is very nice. The peach mango, guys. Oh, it's peach mango. Okay, I can, yeah, that's it's, a, okay. It's insane. I think it's a little bit better, actually, than the green apple that we've released so far. Oh, I think that ashwagandha's kicking in, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, Taylor is also in town. Taylor. Hi. We got the whole crew back together. It's gonna be a wild weekend, but first things first, what we gotta go do. Get some gains, bro. Gains, bro. <laughs> that wasn't a, that was just like a forearm. That wasn't like a pound. Uh. No, no, that was like, just like a. Oh, 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 like yeah. A, uh. All right, so today I'm gonna take Max through a full body pull workout. He's already talking some smack. This guy says he has to do 100 pound dumbbells for bent over row, okay, double arm. Right there, and 100 I, pounds. I, he, he thinks he can do like 10 to 12 reps. This this is, get ready for, his reps are gonna look like this. For 12 reps, this is what it's gonna look like. Ready? It's going like this, and it's gonna go. Uh, uh, quarter rep, range of motion. His body's gonna be convulsing. You can't do let's it. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I gotta go grab him, fuck. I was making the same clip, dude. <laughs> There's no way this man's gonna do this. Oh, and you gotta walk all that way, bro. You need it. <laughs> 10, 12 good reps. God, that's way too heavy, bro. I think that's, what, three, four? That's 10. David. Guys, those might have been the shittiest reps I've ever seen in my entire life. Here, put it on me, I'll try. I mean, I just, I'm recovering from a hernia, but. Oh my God! Feels like at least 100 pounds. Oh, no, fucking. You're ego lifting, bro. That's the difference. I'm trying to have contraction on my muscle. Look, having perfect form is important, but sometimes if you can increase the load a little bit, that can also give you some more gains. That sounds like some cop-out bullshit. <laughs> Workout complete. Now Max told me he's gonna take me to the best taco spot I've ever had in my entire life. I'm telling you, like I, I went through this item by item. I've seen enough of, of his videos to know every key point that a 10 out of 10 taco has to hit. You might even say it's 11 out of 10. It's 11 out of 10. We'll, we'll see about that. But before we get there, got an important announcement because inside of Beast Nation, Max is gonna be doing a live coaching call next Tuesday, June 4th. For those of y'all who don't know who Max is, in addition to being like a, a moderately successful YouTuber, yeah, 
He has built Sour Strips, his candy company. He sold over $50 million of Sour Strips in the last five years, which is insane. I know a lot of y'all are working to, to start a side hustle or take your business to the next level. So this is gonna be a very valuable call for y'all. Tuesday, I'm gonna help y'all out. Unless, unless y'all are starting a candy company, then I'm gonna say, no, 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 no. So we came all the way downtown Austin to go to this taco spot. It's called Velvet Taco. You're not ready for this. All right, so we got a buffalo chicken taco and a tikka masala taco. Max said this is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 11. You said 11. Look at the presentation value of it. That's like easily, what, 45 grams protein? Nine out of 10. What the fuck? What's, what's the point now? How could it improve? It's just, this is not a 10. This, this is the same man who gave the, the gas station quesadilla an 11 out of 10. That was, that was good. You know what, dude? Why don't you stay beastly out, <laughs> outside, okay? I think they're really good. I think 10 out of 10. My favorite taco in Texas. Man, it just feels right. Back in Texas with our best friends, the girls hanging out on the little, is that called a lily pad? Lily pad. On the lily pad back there, got the bridge behind us. Me and Max got some business to settle. Come here, bro. You think you can do a better backflip than me? No, I don't and think you, anything. And you can't. And you won't. Bro. And we're about to settle it right now. Fun. Show the people these, these quads. These are, built, these are built for launch control, okay? Okay. That's launch control. All right. In the past, I've let the girls judge the backflip, but this is serious. This is for YouTube to judge. We're going to go slow motion, Max than me. Wait, wait, wait. Whoever wins, are they deemed the backflip king? These are the backflip bros. Whoever wins today is the new backflip, backflip king. I know you guys don't know me. A lot of you may not even like me, but vote for me. Man, sometimes when you perform certain actions in life, you just know it's the best that anyone's ever done. You're, you're not gonna top that. How do you feel about that, David? YouTube will have to decide for us. I don't feel great though. I don't feel great. I know y'all aren't gonna wanna do great. it. I know you're not gonna wanna do it, but just, just say one, you know? All right, bro, I gotta get your take on something. All right. So I did a video a few weeks ago and I was talking about, one thing I said was I married my dream girl. And there was a few comments like this, but one of them said, yo, it's not a flex to talk about getting married. Like smart guys don't get married. And I'm curious because look, I got my wife on the back there. You got your fiance, congratulations Thank back you. there. Both beautiful women. And both of us, I feel like when we were, you know, rewinding even five, seven, ten years, we came from a generation where being like a pimp and a player was the cool thing and getting married was not the cool thing. I but was anti-marriage. You were even very, re maybe yeah. th three, four years ago you were anti-marriage. But yeah. both of us have transformed, not even to a point where it's like, well, I guess it's time to get married and like have kids. But to a point where, I can't speak for you, but I'm like genuinely proud of my wife i'm excited to have kids i wouldn't hide it from anyone and i'm curious what made you make that change in your mindset i, I really think it's one of those things that like you can't experience it until you experience it you, you hear all the time like when you find the one you'll know and i i literally when people would say that i go like what does that even mean what am i gonna be like whole foods i'm like did you drop this avocado you're like you know but like when i met taylor it ch like when you meet the right person, it changes your whole perspective. And you know, I've 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 done the the single thing for a long time, and I thought that was like the dream. I was like, no responsibility. Do you think guys have to get it out of their system? I I, I think I, I did. No, yeah, one thousand percent. Yeah, no, I I absolutely got it out of my system because as someone who's like done all like the single the single things right and just kind of was a single guy, I am confident in myself that. 
I absolutely would, would choose this life over that. For me, I think part of it is not having like the anxiety of having to text multiple girls and constantly like look for new leads that gets exhausting. New leads. <laughs> I, I think part of it is- Pull out my, 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 my playbook. I'm like, all right, what, what's Wednesday, right? But then once you meet the right girl who like, A, you're attracted to, sex is good so you don't want to have that urge anymore but then beyond that you really like respect her as a person and you could see yourself having a family with her i think the mindset starts to change and maybe some of it's getting to be like 30 33 34 years old like we are now where to me it almost gives me more of a purpose in life to be like it, before it was a bit selfish almost i was just trying to do cool shit for me and now it feels like i'm trying to at this point in my life i mean build wealth but to do it to, to like have an amazing family and it's for like Julie and for the kids not for myself anymore it's something about that is it changes you yeah I think there's a lot of guys watching here they're like dude there's never gonna be a day where I respect women but one day I, I feel like for like 95% of guys like you know there's the outliers that are gonna be like the the, the multiple wives like single for their whole for their whole life or whatever but for like 90 95 percent I'm telling you when you not only hit like a certain age you're gonna like literally have the the, the coming to light of like I'm too old for this shit but also I'm telling you I'm telling you when you meet the right person and you'll know when you know but you won't know until you know you'll just know <laughs> and I know the marriage statistics are bad and I know you probably all know firsthand a lot of really unhealthy marriages and obviously being being in one of those is not a flex of course that's not a flex but if you make the choice and, and you find the right girl and I do think some of that as a man, you have to build yourself up to have the options to, to, to not come from a place of scarcity. To be, It'll change, it will change. To be honest, I think that like, you know, being a man, having your like, you know, your looks all like on point, having your, your money and your career and your path all going, right? But to add to like the, the, the flex even more to be like the most alpha, Imagine have like a beautiful girl that like loves you more than anything and is like loyal to you and like wants to like help and assist in everything that you're doing and you guys are a team and you're a unit. It's a beautiful thing and like that right there, that's alpha. That's a flex. Gains, bro. So we gotta get some gas and Max, the girl's in the car though, you gotta leave the car on. Max is telling me I can pump gas. Bro, the camera's not even on. He's telling me I can pump gas while the car is on. Okay. That doesn't feel right. I am not a doctor, but I had a friend back in high school. I was like, you can't pump gas with the car on. He goes, the car is on when you're driving and there's gas going through. He goes, what would happen if the car's on or off? And in my head, I'm like, oh, like ignition sparks. or something. I didn't have an answer. Car's on. This there might be go. the last YouTube clip of how there to use you. Oh, shoot, shoot. <laughs> it's pumping. What the? Wait. It's going. Wait a second. It's still, we're still here. Hold on, let me get my lighter, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all at the beginning of this video we're gonna have a pool at the end. Julia, how does it feel? I like totally see the vision now. I was having trouble before, but I'm super excited for this like little sun deck. Look, at, look how big it looks. I know, it's huge. Maybe I'm gonna do a backflip in it. Obviously they still gotta pour the, the patio that's gonna go, this patio is gonna extend all the way out there and on the other side over there. You can see it's got the tanning ledge here, the spa. We can actually go in here. The spa over in the corner here with the seating around there. It's gonna be the hot tub. It's got the shallow end over here, the deep end. Rolo, stop squeaking that thing, bro. He's gonna be jumping in with me every time I jump in this thing, bro. Also, big heads up, this Monday, the new Edge Lifestyle Collection is going live. Our premium denim jeans are dropping in an all new light blue colorway, perfect for summertime. We're restocking our premium Henley tees, the perfect shirt for summer nights out. Bringing back the enhanced mesh tees, my favorite gym shirt of all time, and the performance tech joggers as well. And if you click the link in description, you can get early access to shop this collection before anybody else. So today is Sunday, and you may or may not know we have some Sunday traditions. We just got a massage, yep. so everybody's feeling very relaxed right now. And now, we go get some Tex-Mex. Max considers himself a connoisseur of Tex-Mex, of sorts. I'm the tex I'm the tex -Mex of to your tacos, bro. You showed me 11 out of 10 taco, you just got 11 out of 10 massage, and this is gonna be an 11 out of 10 Tex-Mex. This is about to be your favorite restaurant. 
I guess I gotta come up with Austin more often if it is. Max doesn't know. I've actually never been here. Tricking him. Hopefully it's good. All right, this spot is called Maudi's. All right, first tell me what you think about the potato chips. What are you call potato chips? <laughs> what about the chips? You know, I'm not gonna lie, the presentation value is a lot at a Tex Max, and that's a cool looking bowl. It adds the value large for dipping. It's off to a great start, David. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Next, the strawberry mango margarita. Max's favorite. It comes in a goblet. That's important. Okay, I hate when they don't come in goblets. This is great. It's a great margarita, David. It's, you're, things are really looking up this place. And the main event, the beef fajitas. Let me go ahead and try this bad boy out. 8.5 out of 10. That's really good. You know, I'll take the 8.5 out of 10 on that one. Because that's actually the first time I've ever been there. And I think it was also probably about 8.5. Maybe wait, even 8.2. You lied and said you went there before? Everyone was in on it. Except you. That was, that's the lamest fucking lie. Because <laughs> remember, I asked the question, I go, wait, so you, Julia didn't go and you didn't put it on YouTube, but you went to a new place? That I got you, bro. Fucking got me, man. <laughs> and now we're going to go check out the new Mad Max movie. I have, they all have high expectations. I have medium expectations. <laughs> Uh, what's y'all's review out of 10, girls? I give it like an 8 out of 10. It was, it was, I think it was well done, but a little confusing. Um, I'm giving it 5.6. That's the weirdest I movie. knew you hated it. <laughs> it was well, you so stupid. It barely, barely hit a 7. But have you seen the fir the other one? The I feel like Mac, the first was, one was better. Yeah, but it's But I haven't it's seen similar. the first one in a while. Look, it's not a great movie, but you'll enjoy watching it. 7 out of 10. It was a, it's it was it's a, enjoyable. It was a high budget, low budget movie. Rollo, come on. Rollo, out. Rollo. Out. Yeah, I got it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh. Ooh, that was a good one, bro. Later, Beast Nation. Stay beastly. Eat more sour strips. A great weekend with some great friends. Hope y'all enjoy coming along for the ride. If you made it to the end of this video, what should they do, Julia? Give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. No, click there to watch that video next. That's my most recent upload. It is a banger. Stay beastly. We'll talk to you in the next video. Stay beastly. You ruined that.